Hello, <laughs> welcome. Good to see you, Owen. You too. Uh, I've been away. Yeah. Had a little holiday, but uh, we're back and we're straight into it. And today we're looking at what are YouTube handles. Yeah. Um, we will get into the the. Uh, I was about to just lead straight into that, yeah. but uh, this is something that's just we spotted this then a uh, month ago ish. Yep. Um, I kind of thought, oh, what's is this? Just something that's not very important. Do it. Do we really need to worry about this? Uh, but then you look at it and go, oh, okay, this is actually a something. Yeah. Um, so a uh, love outreach is on from Arizona. Good to see you. Uh, anybody else? Please let us know that you're here with us. And uh, we're actually out on Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. And I've got LinkedIn open because it doesn't always pull us um, our chat in. So um, be great to see it. Rod, good to have you. Um, Arizona too. Maybe we need to be out there and have, have a nice little trip out there and come and join you rather than coming in from the cold UK at the minute. Um, Oksana, good to see you. So um, we've got a few other people. Thank you for letting us know that you're here. Uh, we want to jump into this and uh, this won't be, it's not going to be a full on live. It's just we felt we wanted to give you an update as we've found out about it. And so uh, here we go. Um, Mitch is on. Good. Uh, yeah, Oksana's in Washington. Um, the Association of Vehicle Installers are here. Good to see you. Uh, this is always the challenge with YouTube, isn't it? Is that kind of people have got different handles yeah. on here or the channel names and then we're not actually seeing the names behind it but uh, do let us let us know if you've got a um a channel that we don't recognize nobby's on three in the morning man do you ever sleep <laughs> we appreciate you so owen we have um let's have a look question number one what then are youtube handles yeah and I'm kind of, this is me sort of asking Owen your questions as, I, as, as they're coming in, really. I, um, Owen, you've kind of become very much our YouTuber. You're, you're taking the lead on YouTube and, and we've got our academy coming up in a couple of weeks time, actually. Yeah. And uh, I'm really happy to have Owen very much steering on the technical side of things. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of asking you, really, you know, we, we, we spotted this then uh, YouTube handles. What's yeah. the what are they, first of all? Yeah. So they're quite like uh, like on when you go on, say, for example, Instagram or Twitter, you've got your kind of at name. Um, so it's an individual. So everyone's going to have an individual handle. Okay. Um, so say, for example, yours is A Salisbury. So there'll be no other A Salisbury's on YouTube. Um, you can still have your current channel name. Um, so that's kind of a separate thing, a bit like on Instagram, where you can have your at name and then your name sat above it. Um, so how are we... Um... How do we how do we see it's different from a channel name? What, what's because we've got yep. Adrian Salisbury as our yep uh, Adrian Salisbury training as our YouTube channel, um, uh, and I'm still kind of trying to get this. So this is very much you know is this our business name? Is this the personal? This is this yep. like the channel name? Are we are we are we seeing it? Yeah, so this is what's going to show up in, say, when you're commenting on the other people's videos. Uh, it's also going to be your URL. Um, so your new, ch uh, as of now, like up to now, it's been once you hit 100 subscribers, you can yeah. have a custom URL. And so um, for everyone that already has a custom URL, that's kind of going to be reserved as your handle. Mm -hmm. And then you can change it if you want to. Um, but if you don't, then that's kind of reserved for you. So you don't need to worry that that's going to, that in, because YouTube's rolling it out, you don't need to worry that's going to get taken before you yeah. get a chance of it. Um, but the big difference with this and your channel name is that this is completely individual because a lot of people on YouTube have seen on big channels, people saying either I'm, I'm the cre I'm the creator of this video, like um, pretending to be them so they can like scam them out of money okay. or things like that. Um, so it's really a good way. It's a way of YouTube kind of going actually because anyone can ha YouTube channel names aren't, um, aren't individual. So I could go and make a Adrian Salisbury training channel name with the same picture and start posting on the videos 
but you couldn't use that. There's only one of that name. Um, that handle, yes. No, but, but of a channel name. So that's completely... So you there could, could be use... multiple Adrian Salisbury training. Yeah. Is that right? I yeah. never appreciated that. So, um, which we heard... Sorry, yeah, I guess when you yeah. type in the description, it doesn't ever come back yeah. and go, no, that's been used. Yeah, so ah. I, so that's that's a big... That's one of the big things is people pretending to be other people. Yeah. And then... I hadn't realised they were using it exactly this. You yes. could have multiples of exactly the same name. Yeah. Um, Okay, that makes a lot more sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Owen finds that sometimes things have to go in a few times with me, don't they? <laughs> For it to kind of go, ah, oh, now I get it. Yeah. Um, but I'm thinking if uh, the beauty is, I know that if I'm a bit slow yeah. on this, then others will be as well. And um, <laughs> I've just spotted actually, Jill, good to see you. Um, so Jill's just saying that she got in early with hers. Miss Jill, excellent. Yeah. Um so, um, yep, um, we'll come to this kind of see Victorious is posted in here as well. We'll come to you uh, as, as well in a minute. Um, so, okay, so you, the handles are then, as Owen's just explaining, an actual, uh, you know, it's an at, it, it's a, a description like we used to see yeah. on Twitter and Instagram and other places. So it's, and it is unique then. And so if we've already got this, so if we're over that 100 subscribers and we've yep. already got our unique uh, we've got a custom name on youtube anyway mm -hmm. you're saying that uh youtube are just going to go yeah they're gonna guess is it exactly the same then or they just start with that yeah so say for example our channel our custom url was always at youtube.com forward slash adrian salisbury kind of thing or forward slash c forward slash adrian salisbury um well training Yes, or no, but the, the channel link was just Adrian right. Salisbury um, to keep it a bit shorter. So when we when handles initially came out and we could choose them, uh, that was already reserved for us. Mm -hmm. And so even if there was another Adrian Salisbury that wanted to get that, they wouldn't be able to because YouTube went, oh, no, this person's already kind of claimed that as yeah. they're going to want that as their name. Um, and you can only have one. It's yeah. not like having a domain name that you can have multiple variations of yeah. or anything like that then. Um, so um, let's jump up. We'll, we'll run through this in the order we've got. We, yep. we, we came at this with our nice little uh, who, what, why, when, how type questions. But I'm guessing the flow is going to go a little bit different in reality. But um, go on, punch up our next question then. So we're saying, who are they for? Uh so who's going to get one of these handles? Everyone. So every channel on YouTube is going to get a channel handle. And because like at the moment, every channel, um, every channel has like, it's kind of behind the scenes ID, uh, which is, I believe, eight kind of random numbers and letters, mm -hmm. um, which isn't really ideal yeah. for sharing. Um, so it's, this is really just, a way of kind of prettying that up a bit um, so that we can share it and enjoy sharing it. But no restrictions on, there's not any levels now with having a channel no. like we used to have. So it used to be 100 subscribers before. So in our academy, we've got people starting at brand new channels. We've got a couple of new channels yep. of our own. Uh, until you hit that 100 subscriber, you can't yeah. put your own name. You have this ugly extension that you can't share with people or you end up creating bit.ly links and things like that. So anyone is going, or every YouTube channel is going to have this now. Yeah. Um, in terms of... Um, um, <laughs> I'm kind of asking the question without... Yeah. And I thought, actually, we probably ought to be following it this way around. Let's Let's... I'm, I'm not good at being stuck with the title but so how do we get one of these then <laughs> everyone's going to get one are they yeah. magically going to appear so for everyone that's got their i believe it's the i want to say the 14th of november um if yeah we I, did punch up down yeah, here actually didn't page. we if um where have we got we're screen share so we're looking down here so yeah, this so is over on the YouTube channel, their overview of handles. Yeah, and you can see that uh, third paragraph says, if you don't select a handle by the 14th of November, YouTube will automatically assign you one. Um, now, this is currently being rolled out to people. So 
it's not available to everyone. Say for example, um, your YouTube channel, we've been able to select it, uh, but then for wanting to show it, we wanted to look on a different one to mm. show, but that channel hasn't had it released to it yet. So it's just kind of, YouTube quite often do this. So they're just kind of dripping it out to everyone. Yeah. Um, but it is, and it says there on there, you know, this is on the YouTube site, yeah. that they are being rolled out across the coming weeks. Yeah. I mean, this has been on there a little while. Um, with this deadline really of the 14th of November then. Yeah. Um, so we've got a, where are we? We've got a couple of weeks. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks then, this will have happened. Um, so we think that folk that don't have a... So everyone, well, according to the notes on here, everyone's going to get an email sent to them. Yep. Uh, so it's why it's important to make sure that you've got the email address associated to you. We've had a few people that have gone, I can't find that original email. That's I don't know what will happen with that. I guess in there, it'll come up in their control panel in yep. in um, studio. Yeah, it will say to them, um, handles are now coming. And also you can, the other way of figuring out how do you get one, because some people uh, like, I don't know, they just, they don't have it set up to get emails from YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, they've kind of opted out from them. So you can go to youtube.com forward slash handle, um, not handles, but handle. Yep, um, singular. Yeah, and then it will come up with a page saying either uh, handles are being rolled out, we'll let you know when you, like, it's available to you, or it will be like, this. we've reserved this one for you, you can change it here. Hmm. And then if you scroll down, it'll give you kind of a whole explanation of handles and stuff like that. But if if you're really itching to get it, then you could kind of keep that page bookmarked and at every morning, if you wanted to <laughs> check that and be like... It, it's yeah. got to be coming any day now, really, yeah. hasn't it? And I guess it's different people at different, uh, different stages, depending on where your channel's at. Um, there were some, uh, you know, for those that are kind of getting excited about what's coming, uh, it does say down here some sort of guidelines really on what mm -hmm. that'll be when you're choosing this channel, you need it to, you know, you're, you're picking an extension or a, your, your name's going to be between three and 30 characters made up of alphanumeric characters. So any combination of this, and it can include, um, underscores there, uh, hyphens, periods, uh, but it's saying not you are so you're yeah. not going to be able to put www and, dot. Yeah, and this a big part of this is again because of these people in comments and these kind of um, like scammers and stuff. A lot of them would have uh, so it says it can't be URL like or phone number like because a lot of people to kind of um, get around YouTube spam comment filter of like of YouTube scanning it and going is this a spam uh -huh. comment? Yeah, they'd put it in their name and be like. And with um, some emojis have like numbers in them. So they'd out of emojis oh, really? make that okay. number to, and then they would go, <laughs> which is why having just these alphanumeric characters and these specific um, symbols is why that's going to be, people would put like a WhatsApp number, for example, or a URL to give the money or something like that. Right. Um, or like emojis pointing in to kind of draw attention to this link. Um, so, so this is really just, going to be, yeah. yeah, it's a way of kind of trying to like hit that back in a sense. Yeah. And using it for what it's meant to be. Yeah. So, that, so this is really exciting for uh, somebody with a new channel, somebody starting up and just being frustrated and not being able to have that. Yeah. Um, and I guess it's, it, it, there is that urgency you know, um, Brian, I mean, I don't know, Brian, how many Brian Cossacks are there? Um, but if you want that to be your channel, yeah. you know, in that you want that to be your um, handle, then we need to be getting onto that quick before yeah. the minute you've just got a number there, really, like you said, just a, an, an ugly looking sort of extension behind YouTube. Mm. Um, we want to get in. So you do need to keep your eye on your emails. Or if you're not sure about the email that's associated with the YouTube channel, then as Owen said, bookmark um, your YouTube studio and keep checking in on that. Yep. And just remembering that if you've already got a custom URL, you don't need to be as worried about someone yes. stealing or, well, I say stealing, someone else YouTube. claiming your, yeah. Yeah. Um, because 
that you've already got that reserved for you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let's jump over to the chat a minute and uh, see what, what we've got in here. Uh, lovely to see you guys all jump in on with us. Oh, that was just Jason. Cool. Um, so Victoria had a question. Only have 45 followers. Uh, couldn't change to a personal URL. Don't think they're letting people personalize them now. Um, will you be able to reserve it soon? So, yeah, yeah. It, it isn't a case of, well, there's no way I don't think of changing it or altering it or getting to the front of the queue. Just as we're saying, keep an eye on that, Victoria, and uh, as soon as it comes. And um, yeah. yeah, and it's gonna, I'm going to want to ask in a minute yeah. about kind of how we choose and what we think we should be using for this handle. Um, I could make a fake YouTube account. <laughs> Go for it, Jill. <laughs> um, good to see you. Um, where can you check your channel URL? Um, so you're meaning just the the current one at the minute, Oksana. If you were looking at, if Oksana was sharing one of her videos, it would show her channel URL. Yep. And also, if you've got a custom URL, you can go into your, um, or even if you don't, and you're still using your kind of the one YouTube give you, you can go into your YouTube studio, which is studio.youtube.com. Yeah. Uh, and then go yeah, I'm, into. I'm misreading now. I'm thinking Oksana's meaning what? What is the? The handle. The the no the kind of the default extension that is given. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you've already got one set up, Oksana, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Where can you go and find it? Yeah, or even if it is the default one, um, you can go into your YouTube studio, into your custom, um, yeah, your customization tab at the pretty close to the mm -hmm. bottom, and then basic info, and it will say, um, here's your custom URL if you've got one, and here's your kind of preset one below. We both have a little copy thing next to yeah. it. Yeah, I'm wondering if what Oksana's wondering, um, Sorry, yes, where can I check my personalized URL? Uh, yep. I'm wondering if what Oksana's thinking is maybe now is the time to change that custom one. If we wanted to go. Um, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that currently YouTube has paused really? you being able to change it. And even if you've just made uh, it making a new one yeah. because they're currently updating it all. Cool. But uh, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we were on a Zoom call, we'd be able to just pull Alexana on and, and ask. But I'm, I'm assuming that's kind of where. Yeah. So and what they okay. So, but in this case, um, from what we're seeing down here with the notes and things, Alexana, you, they will, you can change that name. So yeah. if ours was so, Adrian Salisbury, for instance, we're going. If that's what YouTube has given us by default as a handle, it then said we can change it uh, to anything else we want, yep. which we have. Yep. So, uh, and this, I'm going to come to this one in a second, quite what what, and why you'd choose yep. that. But we've changed it to A Salisbury. And, but it did say in the notes here that um, we've got 14 days that we can change yep. it back. So it seems that they've by default reserved Adrian Salisbury for us. We've changed it, but they're kind of keeping it locked there for 14 days in case yeah. we change our minds before Jill goes and grabs it. Yeah. Um, so Jill, you're going to be able to have Adrian Salisbury if you want. <laughs> um, I think we might need to make a second channel just to claim that. One I well. reckon so. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's what I kind of think, you know, yeah. almost do you need to garden a bit like you would do with a domain you know if we've got adrian salisbury.com and you think oh we need to get .co.uk and yep. .org or all these other ones because you feel like you someone could do that yeah um you know if ecamm chose ecamm or ecamm live what's to stop a competitor choosing the other choosing ecamm yeah um and i wonder how that will be policed really whether you'll be able to say whether we'll be able to go Hang on, someone else is yeah. I wonder trying to it, copy us here. Yeah, I wonder if it'll be something that you can submit a copyright claim on yeah. someone for, of saying, actually, this is my intellectual property of the name. Yeah. So can I, which you can already do that on videos, thumbnails, titles, stuff like that. Um, yeah, don't we know? And yeah. Music. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, I just, I, I, yeah, there's going to be that kind of attack on it, really, of people going, oh, I reckon I could um, 
clone. And I would think more so for the big companies having a direct competitor trying to, if you've got to narrow it down to one thing. Yeah, but also you've got to remember that this, yeah, if you've got uh, kind of alterations of, say, for example, Ecamm and Ecamm Live, um, you've got to remember that that's still different. So whereas before someone could have the exact same channel name yeah. and picture uh, and you just kind of had to rely on them having a verification tick. Yeah. Jill's just popped here, actually. Another benefit could be channels with longer names, getting a snappier, shorter handle. Jill, that's exactly what we were thinking. Adrian Salisbury would look better, but actually from a typing it in, if, if this is how we're thinking of it looking, um, A Salisbury is just a little bit shorter yeah. than that. Um, and I think, yeah, that this is going to be something that you're sharing around more uh, to be able to say, oh, go and check out my channel. It's at A Salisbury or it's at, um, what was Jill's, did she say? Um, Miss Jill, great. Um, so yeah, um, I, I we will come back to this in just a second. Um, I, I did just want to ask what you think too. Uh, the, what are we choosing? What do you think, should we be going for a company name? Is this our so presumably we're going to be able to change this at any point yep. in the future and it will kind of lock in yep. the existing one for 14 days. But trying to do the right thing and and this stress of I want to get the right name before somebody else gets it. Um, what do we think with this? Like, um, you know, Jill's just saying here about getting a shorter, snappier name. Does it want to when we've looked at people's channel names, we've sort of suggested in the academy about including their name and their company or bearing in mind this is whenever you comment anywhere this is what's yeah. going to come up now um and it's good to get that in there so people yeah. don't just go oh who is this person but maybe you put you know your what do you think do you think we should be kind of using our brand or our name and going no this is just my personal I think, handle i think if you're if you're the person that's kind of in all the videos, I would say to use your personal name because um, quite frankly, I know for me at least, uh, whenever there's a personal name versus a brand like brand name, I connect more with mm -hmm. the person. Yeah. And so even like someone I watch has a brand name and but I'm like, I don't feel like I connect as well with them because I don't know their name. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think that's quite a big thing. And I wouldn't necessarily, I understand what you're meaning with, uh, say for example, on LinkedIn is quite a popular one when people are like, um, oh, I'm John Smith, uh, business coach, for example. Mm. But just remembering that that's then also going to be your channel URL. So yeah. if you're adding that in, yeah, I'd be a bit. Yeah, and maybe not going for a, bold salesy make better video at make better videos type you know it, yeah. it feels I, I like what you're saying actually it is the person you are kind of connecting and if you feel like oh okay this is yeah this is a person this isn't like some yeah. ad uh so maybe be a bit careful with that yeah and actually as well there's that kind of um i heard it put earlier that things like facebook and instagram and twitter actually them words didn't mean anything before the company so kind of instead of yeah stressing out about or i need to make sure i get the right name it's kind of building around that name rather than trying to get a really good and obvious name first of all. yeah and this will be the thing going forward won't it when we're we're kind of looking at new names with things um i can't say anymore because i yeah. get told off yeah by rachel um <laughs> but but it a bit like i used to be but when I started out with a web design business many years ago, I was looking for names. Yeah. And actually, I'm kind of one of my priorities is what can I get a URL for? And I guess it'll be a little bit like this now. We'll be yeah. going, oh, I wonder if that one's gone yet. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So uh, let's have a quick look back over here because uh, it's great to see uh, some comments and things coming in. Um, so we've looked at this one, have less than 100 subscribers as well. Um, but I do have a channel name. Yeah. Uh, I I would ask if you've got quite an old channel in that sense. Um, so that will still 
be that link will still work um and it says on the page that legacy links still work so links before this update um but i think i would say having that with less than 100 subscribers will be an older channel uh that was just before that cap was put okay in. so yes it, it, you, we're assuming that yeah. for rod it will take that one that he's got at the minute um yeah but don't panic as we say and don't you're not stuck with it it'll just be that youtube's trying to make sure that if you've already gone to the trouble of getting that um, channel name already then that's the handle it's going to give you by default and then give you the option to change it and you can kind of type them in can't you and it yep. will it will give you a tick or a cross to say yes it's available yep. or no it's not um yeah excellent um still want to change it Oksana cool well hopefully you heard Owen just saying where that is and it's down in that bottom corner um of your YouTube studio where do we find the notes you're referring to? Um, we'll link it in yeah. um, the description after because, or if you go to uh, well, youtube.com forward slash handle, I believe there's a learn more. Yeah, um, why, don't we, why don't we just do that? Yep. Yeah. So if you go to youtube.com forward slash handle, which um, I've just pulled off the page but that is can you see it up there behind our heads uh, that's where we've gone to and this is the page that appears I'm zoomed in a little bit yeah there we go um, so this is the page you're going to get to and it says your handle is reserved and if you want to change it you can go here yeah and it's giving me options of what I think and this is what Owen's referring to so we've got a big microphone yeah. stuck right I wouldn't if I'm here on my own I wouldn't normally have the screen laid out like this but we can go learn more and then that's the page we're on here yeah. okay so uh, I would think even if you haven't got yours available and ready if you if you go to this page where am I let's cancel yep. it before I go and redo it so if you head to this youtube.com forward slash handle and then if you scroll down I'm sure it'll be in here somewhere yeah um so this is where we're getting all our info from, straight from uh, YouTube and what they're putting out. It's giving you more information and ideas as well as to how this is uh, this can be used. Um, and um, yeah, so more information, more more stuff you can be researching down there if you like. Um, uh, choosing URLs is currently unavailable. So you're right, that's blocked it down then. Um, yeah. Okay, is there a way to check if it's being rolled out for them? So that's what we were doing here, yeah? Yep. Do, you, do we need to be logged into? So, oh, where are we, is this one? So you can see on here, um, this is still the youtube.com forward slash handle. But up here, we can select on the YouTube one and we can switch accounts. Uh, so like we, just before coming on, we're like, oh, is there any ones, other ones that we have that have been given this um, so far? Um, but we, so we just went on this page, switched to all the different channels one by one, and it'll come up saying either your handle's reserved or it's coming soon. So for Crystal, you would need to have access to the YouTube channel. Yep. Um, you're saying it's just default into your one. That's because you're logged in then in that top right corner as your profile. Yeah. If you log into the work, then that'd be what comes up. Yeah. And if you're if you're a channel manager, for example, so it's not actually on your email and it will kind of have a little box with an arrow pointing out, which is kind of telling you it's going to take you into YouTube Studio because that's where you have access to that channel. Um, if that's the case, then you're just going to need to ask them to check it yep. um, because you won't be able to. Cool. But definitely be flagging yeah. up with them if you can't get access to it and getting getting someone over there to be looking into this. Um, Jill's just saying totally agree with the personal names. Yeah, um, definitely. So, um, Owen, um, where to find the customization tab, please, from yep. Mitch? So you want to jump in and um, it's okay because it will come up with 
Um, so on studio.youtube.com, um, or you can go into YouTube and then on that icon, it will come up with um, YouTube Studio. You want to scroll on the side. You've got like a sidebar with a load of um, different tabs and stuff. You want to go down to where it's like, it's like a magic wand um, one that says customization. And then when you click on customization, it will say at the top, it'll have three tabs. Um, and one of them will be basic info. And then we can flick in from where, this, can't we? Uh, Were you bothered yeah. about? So on here, it will, if you scroll down, it will have customization and then you can come to your basic info. And for us, it has handle. Um, and then if you scroll down a bit more, there's your custom URL and also your channel URL with this is the kind of mm. ugly ID that every channel has. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Um, I think I may be more drawn to Adrian Salisbury over A Salisbury. Yeah. Um, yeah, interesting. Yeah, and I think it's as well remembering what is easier to remember um, because for a lot of people, um, and actually this isn't, this is kind of just thinking it over again. For a lot of people, they'll know you as Adrian rather than mm. Salisbury kind of thing. So kind of... It's a very good point, actually. Yep, which is good because they've saved it for 14 days. That We, we should can... do a poll. <laughs> we can actually on YouTube, couldn't we? Um, yep. Jill, I think you got a really good idea, good point there, actually. Yep. We were sort of looking going, oh, it's quick, it's easy to put in, yep. but um, even just kind of seeing them there... Yeah, and also... I wonder if we've been a bit hasty. Yep, but it's been saved for 14 days, um, and mm. then we can change it back. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. Yeah. People and likely know you by your first and second. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, Nobby's agreeing. Yeah. And I think I would say as well, um, if... For us, one of the also one of the things we were also thinking about why to go for that shorter one is because because this is getting rolled out, we kind of wanted to be as broad as possible for a little bit. Like we even looked at whether just Adrian like was yeah. available and stuff. <laughs> and we kind of because before we knew that it automatically reserved this, we were like, great, we can get in there with the really short mm. names to go. Oh, great, Adrian, for example. Um, and then mm. like that. And so um, it was kind of a, there's going to be a lot more A Salisbury's than Adrian Salisbury's um, for all like the Adams okay. and all yeah. of them. So we kind of, it's less likely to be taken quicker. So we kind of went, let's get that first. Fair enough. There you go. There's wisdom there. I just kind of jump in. <laughs> um uh, Crystal's just asking there. Yeah. What if there are a few of us? What a so, few managers of the channel? I think this was to do with the brand name versus chat, like a personal name. Um, okay. And if if there's more, um, if there's more than one of you, I'd say potentially go for a brand name. Um, if, yeah, the likes of Ecam. Yeah. We wouldn't expect to see Katie's name or... Yeah, or um, Think Media, for example. Mm -hmm. um, is It's Think Media because it's a team of people. Yeah. Um, if, you, if you could do it, whether... I mean, it's a very unlikely thing, but say, for example, with us, if we were going to go for a kind of brand name, which, well... For us, it doesn't really work because the brand name is also the personal name. But if it wasn't, mm. we could go for like the Salisbury's, for example. Um, and personally, I think I'd still connect more with that and going, oh, OK, this is the family name of because it's pe like a family business mm. rather than if it was video training consultancy, for example. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I think companies, we connect with Ecamm yep. as well. Um, 
So yeah, if you've got yeah. an option and you can use your name, then definitely. But if it's if it's a business, yeah, um, yeah, don't be kind of panicking and thinking we're it, we're saying it mm. needs to be a personal name. Um, Gaytan's here. Good to see you. Uh, have a channel, but agree that I should use my name. Should I make a new channel? Oh, I've not posted any videos yet. So. Sorry, should I, you've got a channel, but you're thinking you should use your name. So um, you're going to be able to change it. I, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go changing things around. Um, not posted any videos yet. Looking forward to the academy. Fantastic. Yeah, and this will be mm -hmm. definitely the sort of thing we're talking about in there, Gaytan. Um, no, I don't know that you need to go changing your channel or starting a brand new one. Um, let, let's wait till we get in there and just find out a bit more about it. But depending on whether you've got a personal or a brand channel, um, if you've done nothing to it yet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not a rush. Um, personally, I'm assuming it's this channel that you're on now. Um, I ah, think that's a good point. <laughs> I think I'd be more likely to connect with you either in comments or on a live like this or just as your channel in general if I was watching your videos mm. I think I'd be more likely to connect with you as Gaytan rather than as our creator calls um but it's really I don't think it's some it's not going to be something that is anything you need to rush especially if you've not got any videos at the moment um mm. so yeah it's I wouldn't worry about it too much because it's something you can always change. But it is in, it is this sort of interesting point, isn't it? And I know, um, I don't know if it, yeah. Um, so down here, you see like Beyond Barbering, Mitch, um, should he stick to this or do you think it should be, should Mitch should be putting his name in here and... Um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dean. I think we're going to check. Don't worry. I think yep. we're going to change this back. I think that was um, that does make a lot of sense. Yep. Um, they're singing Salisbury's. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, Mitty's just asking here. Then, really, what what we're thinking, really, um, yep. gentleman barber, the gent. I think for me, the gent doesn't have anything to do with barbering in that sense. So I'm less. I'd be a bit like what's kind of. Mm. Um, gentleman barber, if that's what you're kind of wanting to go towards more than, um, like, rather than, although you're saying it's a barber shop it's channel, barber it's, not his, shop. it's not his training. If it was your barber shop, yeah, I think it's really up to what you want to brand yourself as in that sense. Um, Bearing in mind that this, like now, we can see, you know, the names coming up like yep. this. Um, I, I it, anytime you're come, if you're jumping in on lives and things, you know, yep. there's a few. It's interesting just looking up here, isn't it? You know, there's Nobby, there's Dean, Crystal as names. Um, others that I kind of go, ah, oh, I kind of know who this is, but I can't remember who it is. Yep. Um, you know, I I personally like to see a name. Yep. Um, but I get why people do this, you know, and if, if, so every time that Mitch is commenting on a live or in a, yep. you know, just comments back on a video that he's watched and someone goes, Oh, what's this beyond barbering Academy? And, and then he's sort of clicking. Um, yeah, beyond barbering Academy is quite long, but, but this is what you're choosing here is what's going to appear in these comments It's yep. what you're going to be able to put. We haven't mentioned, I don't think, that we're also in descriptions and in... So if I was commenting back, I could put my at and yep. Adrian Salisbury and that becomes a link then straight to my yep. channel and the same in a description um, yeah. or, rather than having to put the HTTP and everything else. Yep. Or say if we did a video, um, whether it was with Katie from Ecamm, for example, we could say... Um, this video like with mm. at ecamm and that will be a link yeah that they someone can just click on and it will go there that you can also do it in posts mm. and titles and things like that um so yeah yeah and i think with beyond barbering academy being quite a long name um i would see if just beyond barbering was available um because i don't know fully if 
I think it's still that kind of trying to keep it fairly short um, without making it mm. too short that it doesn't still apply. Or if this is very much around Mitch, I, I, I'm wondering almost like Mitch the Barber. Yeah, or Barber Mitch. Barber Mitch, yeah. I don't know, I just... Um, yeah. putting a face to it. I really like actually. J hey James, um, if your channel is James Cooper Films, would you keep it or should you just try James Cooper? I quite like James Cooper Films. Yeah. What do you think? I, I would see if James Cooper's available and then if it was, I'd probably... Really? I Yeah, I think because then if... And I know that it's very much films is your kind of thing, but if you ever went, Ooh. oh, I want to actually lean more towards youtube or social media for example suddenly you become the tiktok guy who's showing yeah. you how to do this your Does name films... is still like it may it may still james cooper may still be available but just mm. remember that the longer you do leave it is potentially the longer that someone has to yeah get that name um, yeah if there's another james cooper it's a bit like what we do with websites names isn't it mm -hmm. urls that again when we're originally looking at going um i don't know if if i was looking at adrian salisbury and it wasn't available i might choose adrian salisbury hq or something yep. which is what we've done yep. on twitter and places when um the name's not available and it, it does it feel a bit more like oh he actually got his name? You know, if you're getting yeah. in early and just getting that, and it doesn't feel like you've had to add another yeah. word on, to um, yeah, because it's like when you see any big celebrity in that sense, like for example Justin Bieber won't yeah. be Justin Bieber one two three because uh, you'd kind of <laughs> see that and go, well that's a fake yeah. account. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's that kind of does that have a bit of extra weight to? So we think James ought to go for James Cooper. If it's available. If I it's would. available. And then you've got 14 days to change your mind. Yeah. If, um, but, but better while everyone's going to be this kind of friend, this crazy, mm. everyone's going to be trying to get these handles. Um, so definitely, and it's certainly if you're catching this now and you missed us at the start, this is all being rolled out in the next couple of weeks, we believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, you really do need to keep on top of your emails yeah. or YouTube studio because everyone's going to be kind of release these in a very short space of time and it's a case of grabbing to try and get your name before yeah. the next person does well bearing in mind like with you saying about people are gonna kind of be starting and coming up um and now kind of rushing to get them all um i can't remember we had rob from tube buddy come in um in two academies back and he mm. kind of showed us this what percentage of channels had under 100 subscribers. Yes. And I can't remember what it was, but it was most channels on mm. YouTube. Yeah. Um, so bearing in mind before, yeah. when we wanted a custom URL, it was, we were fighting with potentially, let's just say 20% of YouTube. Whereas now it's going to be, I think it's going to be when you make a YouTube account and make a YouTube channel, it's going to be, what's your channel name? What do you want your handle to be? Mm. A bit like making a Twitter or an Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, so let's jump in quick. Robin, um, business name feels so alive. A new Robin Forrester. Um, Forster, sorry. Um, yeah, I, well, I like what Owen said with James, you know, uh, feels so alive. You know, if, if you were to pop up here commenting as feels so alive, I don't know, it's you, Robin. Um, yeah. We're not going to lose channel names, are we? No. So we can still do this. So a bit like what um, Crystal's saying, to be clear, it doesn't change the oh, YouTube sorry. channel name. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it won't change. So say, for example, we've selected ours to be A Salisbury, but the YouTube channel name is still Adrian Salisbury Training. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and a really good point, Crystal. I'm glad you... Oh, oh, that's bizarre that it's, it's sitting yeah. here in front of me and I was just thinking exactly the same. Maybe subconsciously I was seeing it. Um, yeah, this isn't the be-all and end-all, but yeah. in terms of the tag, and if you, in five years, go a completely different direction, great to have your name yeah. and that you can that you can follow that. I think I would guard the name more, if possible. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, 
two channels, Barbershop and a Barbering Academy. Can you use one handle for both? No. Um, but you could use one to reserve the other if you had, if you were a bit between two, then you could potentially set one up as one of them and the other as the other. So that if you wanted to change your mind, you could. Do you think it's an interesting point, actually? Because like we've done this with, you can merge channels or you can not merge, you can yeah. port a channel over. Yes, yeah, moving it. Uh, um, kind of replacing yeah. one to another. So maybe if you'd got more than one channel and you just, on both of them, got two names, even if one was sitting dormant on a channel, yep. almost just to reserve that name. Yep. But at a later stage, you could shift your whole channel over. Yep. And I reckon know. it will be... <laughs> I reckon it will... Um... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just playing. James is changing his over to Justin Bieber, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd be very surprised if that's available. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you, it's that kind of... Um, I think, in my mind, the 14 days of reserving it's a bit like... Um, it's just kind of you. So if you were keeping both of them, just bearing in mind, you're going to need to wait that 14 days because yep. YouTube doesn't know they're both you. It's just going to go, well, I've told them I'm going to keep this reserved for 14 days. So it's a bit like saving a seat, really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Um, we need to wrap this up in a few minutes. Um so what comes up during live chats? Your channel name or handle? Um, in live chat, you mean comments like this? Yeah, I think that's going to have to be something we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, I don't think it's anything that YouTube necessarily said about. Yeah, interesting. I'd assumed it was, that's what we were saying earlier, I assumed yeah. that this is where the handles are going to go. Yeah. But whether you can choose? Potentially. Um... Um, yeah, people know if they go to business channel, if they're for purposes compared to going to, yeah. And I think, you know, it, there's, there are reasons why, you know, if you are on a business and there's more than one person contributing and it isn't just your name, yep. but I think, um, yeah, I think if, if you are very much the face of the business, um, this is your channel then I think there's a lot for it being a name, but... Um... Yeah, and I think as well, like with what you're saying about people going to a channel, um, a business channel, knowing um, that they're there for a purpose, I I would have to disagree with that, I think, because I, I get what you mean when you first come across a channel, um, but say, for example, if you were looking for an Ecamm tutorial, you'd probably still come to your channel which even though it's technically your personal channel, you're still, you've kind of branded it as a business channel, but with your name. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it is kind of going back to what we said earlier about Facebook and Instagram, for example, not meaning anything before the brand came along. Yeah. And it is that kind of... You create that around your name so yeah. people know what you're known for. Is... Yeah. Cool. Um, before we go... And uh, thank you so much. It's been really good having you on and having a chat through. I said to Owen, we'll be about 30 minutes because I, I wasn't sure quite where this could go or would go, but uh, it's really cool. And um, yeah, so uh, when's the next Academy? Uh, it's just what I was about to tell you. So thank you very much for leading us with that one. Uh, we are going to be here and you we've put it in the description on YouTube. Uh, haven't quite got to it on Facebook, forgive me, but... Um, there, there, if you refresh our Facebook page or LinkedIn, LinkedIn, you will see that we are going live on Friday. And um, three reasons. Yes. <laughs> three reasons you need to be all in on YouTube. So please come and join us on Friday. Same time on Friday, 5 p.m. here in the UK or 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Um, we really are, we love YouTube, you know, it's, uh, we might not be YouTube experts and uh, YouTubers, uh, but very much yeah. time and again, people say to us, oh yeah, actually I first found you on YouTube. 
Yeah. Uh, and, and we just keep over and over again people saying they discovered us on YouTube and uh, lots of other reasons. We've got three major reasons why we really think every one of you should be all in on YouTube. Uh, so do come and join us on Friday. We'll talk about that and that will be us opening the doors to the next YouTube Academy, um, which starts on the 7th. I got good eyesight, you know. Monday, the 7th of November. Good eyesight, he says, yeah, taking his glasses. I was going to say it. But... <laughs> um, yeah. Monday, the 7th of November, two weeks YouTube Academy, really designed to help you get a brand new channel up and going. Or if yeah. you've got a channel that maybe's gathered dust and you just want to put some more life back into it, certainly with all these new exciting things coming up, um, come and join us over there. Two weeks of live training in the Academy. But uh, yeah. to find out more, please join us Friday. It'll be fantastic to see you all there. Um, is Owen going to talk YouTube shorts? We can. We can. He can. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Awesome. So uh, some of you coming and joining us then, uh, really looking forward to that. Thank you. Oh, I didn't really even realise Rachel was on. So Rachel's done the usual. And uh, thank you very much, Rachel. Popped a link in there. Uh, that's the YouTube Academy. It's a wait page at the minute. We'll be turning it over on Friday to the sales page. And um, it'll be $1.99 again to come and join us or $99 if you've been through once before and you want to just come back through as an alumni. Uh, we love having our alumni back. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, 3 a.m. down under Nobby. I'm sorry, mate. Um, we will do a uh, definitely we will have at least one live coming into Australia time for you. And uh, we'll make sure you get on. We'll even bring you on as a guest if you like and come and join us on the live. But um, yeah, and, and different to Ecamm because Owen's very much going to be sitting alongside me as we do all our lives on the YouTube Academy. And I like it because it's a lot more reviewing. We're looking yeah. at people's channels. We're thinking about it. And it's good to kind of have more of a conversation. Whereas uh, when we said about this with Ecamm, Owen just went, well, you might as well just do it because it's yeah. just sort of this is how to do it. Yeah, it's um, when it's things that are up for debate kind of thing um, and it's not a technical, this is what you do, that's when it will be both of us kind of thing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, thank you very much, James. And uh, we're always, we're actually rewriting all of the videos, uh, rewriting, re-recording. We've done 90% of them. Yep. Uh, so yeah, all fresh content. We got a bit fed up with the brick wall in the background and thought surely things have changed on YouTube since then. So uh, we've got a load of new fresh content coming for you and excited about it. Uh, so thank you so much. Hope you found that useful and um, we look forward to seeing you on Friday. Yeah. All the best. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> See ya.